Well, luckily, Steve, the person in that car, there was one person in that car, two people on that plane. Somehow, some way, those folks, according to the Greensboro Police Department, they are going to be just okay tonight. To give you a bit of perspective for you folks back in the Triangle tonight in the Sand Hills, as to where we are, we have heard planes just whizzing over our forehead. So we are just about one exit away from the Piedmont Triad International Airport here in Greensboro. And you see right here down the highway, you see the folks, investigators, a lot of different police departments surrounding that plane that has made that landing here. Again, an I-840. Police tell us about uh, 8 o'clock tonight, just before then, they got a call uh, about a plane in distress. The plane was experiencing mechanical failure and then made that emergency landing here on I-840 westbound near I-73. I-840 is the outer loop here in the triad. Again, about 15 minutes from downtown Greensboro. The plane touched down and then a car hit that plane. Investigators say there were two people on that plane, one of whom has minor injuries and was taken to the hospital. We're not sure if that is the pilot or not. The person in that car, amazingly, was not hurt at all. We have traced the tail number of that plane, of that plane, and found that single engine Beechcraft is registered to a Joseph Fisher of Fort Walton Beach, Florida. If you look at the track for that flight, the plane took off about 2.30 today from the Fort Walton Destin Airport. It made a stop in Thompson, Georgia, which is uh, not too far from Augusta, Georgia. It refueled there and then continued on the track, then stops after that in this area. Again, amazingly in all this, only one person is going to walk away from here uh, treated and taken to the hospital uh, with minor injuries. Now to recap here, Greensboro Police will be handling uh, the car investigation part of this. NTSB will handle the aircraft to figure out exactly what happened that led to that distress call and this plane uh, landing here on the highway. As soon as we know more about when this highway will be opened up, we'll pass that along to you. Stephen Lauren, back to you.